So, ladies and gentlemen, I got a very interesting question recently. One of my YouTube comments. What does it mean when you say that Saturn has transited to this particular sign? Or to be specific, for me as this ascendant in this particular house. Okay? Because Saturn will transit in a particular house when it changes its sign. So what does it mean when you say that for you, Saturn has entered the second house? Or what does it mean that Saturn has entered the eighth house, the tenth house? Okay. Now many times people think that Saturn has entered second house. So something to do with the second house will happen. But then uh, Jupiter might enter your fifth house. Then what happens there? You may think, oh, Venus has entered seventh house. Maybe I can get married. But uh, does it mean that you get married? Or what happens when Sun enters the Lagna? What happens? All right. So, especially for Saturn, it's very crucial that we understand because Saturn's transit is a very important transit because it's the longest transit if you ignore Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto in that case, of course. So, in Vedic astrology, as you know, predictions are given on the basis of dashas. Mm -hmm. What are dashas? Dasha means, the word dasha literally means situation. So what is your situation now? Where are you situated? Which place you are in? Are you married? Are you in a relationship? Are you single? Are you divorced? Or are you looking to get married? Are you having a job? Or have you lost your job? Do you have children? Or do you have a business? Do you have, are you self-employed? How's your health? Everything is under dashas. Dasha means... Uh, the planets which decide uh, or which reflect our current mental state. And that is why the Nshotri Dashas are uh, calculated from the moon actually. Okay, And they must be calculated from the moon because um, although the transits are seen from the ascendant, but the effect finally has to go through the moon. Okay? Because the mind is ultimately the reservoir of all the things that happen with us. So the same thing can happen to somebody and that person may think, oh, it's not that bad. Somebody may say, oh, this is the worst thing happened. Somebody may say, oh, this is the best thing that happened to me. Right? So let's discuss a bit on Saturn's transit in uh, relation to the dashas. All right? So as usual, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to the channel below and my consultations are also below in the description section to my website. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Even if Saturn is transiting your 6th, 8th or 12th. <laughs> Alright, so you know what dashas are. So you have Mahadasha and you have Antaradasha and you have Pratyanta. Well, there are main, main different dashas. Different dasha systems are applicable to different person. Depending on their horoscope. The horoscope will tell you which dasha system is more applicable for you. Now, when I say which dasha system, I don't mean these dashas are fighting with each other. Okay, For every human being present on this earth, simultaneously, there are so many dashas which are playing. But what do I mean when I say that which dasha system is applicable for you? I mean to say that which resonates the most with your current situation. Now, suppose one dasha is signifying something and the other dasha is signifying something else. So, suppose one dasha signifies uh, marriage, and another dasha signifies career. Okay. Now, it could happen that two things are happening. Suppose you got married or you got a promotion or simultaneously it happened or the opposite happened. You got a promotion and you got divorced or you got married and um, you were you lost your job, something like this. But then, among the two, among these two parallel events, which one will you feel more? Okay. So if you are if you are resonating with the one which gave you a success in a particular area, then that dasha system is more applicable to. Like there is Mula dasha also, there is Gemini Chara dasha, there is Vinshotri dasha, then there is Uppanna Vinshotri. All right. So. <coughs> Uh, the and then we also have Narayan Dasha, of course. You know, then Chakra Dasha is there. 
so many dashas are there actually all right so now once you have figured out your dashas or primarily if you use vimshottri then what happens is you know which events of my life will happen during this dasha what are the focus areas for my life during this dasha this is what vimshottri dasha tells you actually many other dashas also tell you vimshottri tells you particularly what will the mind like to focus in if vimshottri indicates depression the mind likes to be depressed you may think oh how can somebody like to be depressed right no but that's how it is the mind is liking that nature very much to be pessimistic to be depressed depressive all the time so therefore that's how you see vimshottri so then uh, we, i have a lot of videos on vimshottri dasha and predictions and answers using vimshottri so once you see that then you know which houses by planet lordship and placement and nakshatras which houses are active and these the events that will happen in your life will be governed by these houses okay once you see that then what do you do what's the next step the next step is you look at the transits and then we come to the transit of saturn which is very important so saturn you always understand that saturn is the karma karaka he is the significator of the dashamsha chart okay the dashamsha chart is very much misunderstood to be the chart of career especially the dashamsha chart shows what kind of a contribution will you uh, give will you leave what kind of a legacy will you leave behind okay a person may be a millionaire or very famous or may be very beautiful or may be very smart but then the person may not leave a legacy behind okay uh, leaving a legacy doesn't mean that Uh, even after thousand years of your death, uh, people will keep talking against you, or right, uh, or for you. Okay, either ways, it doesn't mean that you have left leg legacy just because people are talking. Okay, because people may may talk against you also. Okay, and today, after hundred years of your death, people may talk nicely again for you, but after five hundred years, uh, the ideology ideologies may change, and people may say, "Oh, this person was a bad person. Anything can happen." All right. so therefore the the most important thing that you need to know about your the shamsha chart is that what kind of a contribution will i leave and what are the things that i will have to do in order to achieve uh, that higher purpose of my life okay therefore you don't have to be in some big managerial position or in some big authority position to have a strong the shamsha chart okay or the other way around having a good dictant does not mean you will be in some big ceo position or something it has nothing to do with your post position in society okay so therefore the transit of saturn will tell you in which particular area of your ascendant which which is your life your practical life your real life actually the things that are happening the ascendant shows the things that are actually happening okay how you view the world that's the ascendant so which are those areas where saturn is transiting so for example if you are um, a sagittarius lagna and then in your case where is saturn transiting he is transiting in the second house because he is currently in capricorn so that means uh, sagittarius rising people you will feel that during these dashas whichever dasha you are running whichever doesn't matter you are running the dasha of the 5th house 10th house second house 12th house whichever house okay it uh, just does not matter but what it means is that you are running the dasha of maybe um 5th house and then saturn transits your second house okay for sagittarius rising as i said so it means now 5th house related activities are going on which could be anything creativity love affair or extra marital affair or Uh, hobbies or you know exploring different uh, things in life fun basically or it can mean you are having children or it could mean you are desperate to have a child but you are not able to have due to some reason or it could mean that you are lacking purpose in life okay depends on the planet and the dasha so these are the activities and depending on the other houses which are linked it will be decided which among this is going to happen okay but now the thing is you know this is the dasha and these are the activities for my life these things will revolve around me okay or 
other i will revolve around these things when this the size activated so now what do you mean when you say saturn transits the second house it means that it's like saying the karaka for the dashamsha chart is now going to the second house okay so it's very the difference is very subtle okay because mercury is the primary karaka for the 10th house saturn is not the primary karaka is the karaka for the dashamsha chart all right so therefore you may think that oh mm, dashamsha is the chart of career or uh, name fame then mercury should have been the karaka right it, it's not mercury actually so therefore now you know that to manifest the activities of the fifth house which can represent so many things as i said depending on your chart now it will be decided that now now this means when saturn transits your second house that your karaka for the dashamsha which means your ability to great things in life is wanting that you focus on the second house okay so which means that when you are doing uh, when you are activating your fifth house if you focus in the second house also when i say in the focus in the second house also it doesn't mean that you have to split okay the focus is where the dasha lord is or where which house the dasha lord are rules okay absolutely no doubt about it but where certain transits that house can tell you which are those activities which are those areas which you need to master within yourself okay so that you can realize the full ultimate fulfillment of the dasha okay because he is the karaka for the d10 you see how can you so now suppose uh, if a person has a fifth house the sign of uh, the person is a singer for example so now uh, singing in a closed room is something different singing in front of thousand people that's different but singing in a way that transforms people's lives and inspires somebody to become a better human being that is somebody different totally different okay so that's an example you see of how the activity is the dasha lord the dasha is the same the house is the same but when the person uh, behaves in a way that can uh, make a big impact to this world so that is how you judge uh, the transit of saturn okay and of course the most important thing in astrology for an astrologer when he's giving a consultation or when you are learning astrology as a student is to have coherence if you have coherence you have a horoscope if you don't then you don't okay therefore many times people keep asking oh i have you know moon in third house you know rahu in 10th what will happen this will happen that will happen but where is the coherence moon in third house is not behaving independently of the other planets it is behaving but there is a coherence you have to understand so the most important thing as an astrologer for you when the client approaches you is to find coherence okay how are the energies sinking together what is the flow of the horoscope if you know that then you can go to stage 2 which is the dashas then you go to transits okay so therefore for example if your dasha is indicating 10th house and your saturn is transiting 7th house then you might feel that to achieve the things related to the 10th house which is career name fame power position authority you will have to move together with your spouse okay it doesn't mean that you have to get married i'm not saying that but if you are married then you have to move ahead with your spouse you have to take the help of your spouse you have to master your relationship with your spouse otherwise that will hamper your dasha which is the 10th house okay or if you are not married seventh house can show public life okay so therefore the transit of saturn will tell you how to harmonize with the dashas the dasha lord the planets which are signified by the dashas and achieve the highest fulfillment in life okay it can be anything it can be building a house or it can be anything it doesn't matter it doesn't mean that it has to be in a big scale okay so therefore the transit of saturn is very important and this is how you judge the transit of saturn all right so first check the horoscope find the coherence then you find the then you check the dashas then you check the transit of saturn it's very 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 crucial all right 
and therefore um, you must pay attention to the transit of saturn right do not ignore the place the house where saturn transits that will be all from my side i will put some videos on saturn here if you're interested and if you're new then please subscribe to the channel below and consultations are through my website down below okay right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him wherever respective of your saturn transits right thank you